Hey guys, Ben here from Velflex. So what I'm gonna take you through now is how to produce heat transfers, one color heat transfer for your garment apparel printing using heat transfer. So what we've got here, we've got the Mamaki CG60 cutter, okay? It's a cutter that'll take your 500 wide vinyls. Uh, at Velflex, we've got over 70 colors. So you're talking specialty, gold, sparkles, reflective, the whole works. You've got your obviously a neon pink, which we're gonna to cut today. You've got your full color gamut for doing one color. And if you're willing to layer up the vinyl, you can even do two or three colors as well. But I'm gonna take you through start to finish of producing one of these transits. So we're using Illustrator, we've got the design up, we've got our basic Flex Classic sample transfer there. Now I'm gonna do it at 200 mil wide, so it's about the size of your chest sort of print. We're gonna do it on the back. Now, in Illustrator, if you're using a Mamaki cutter, you get a program called Fine Cut. It's a plugin that goes into Illustrator. So straight from Illustrator, we're going to be sending this to the cutter. Now, little cut icon right here. We press cut. It brings up Fine Cut 9, which is the production tool that we're using to communicate to the cutter. You can see here, this is the design. It's telling you 200 mil wide. Now, something very important when we're using a cutter. All of our vinyls are designed to be cut in mirror. So you're actually cutting the glue side of the transfer, not the side that you're going to see on top of the shirt. So by cutting from behind, it means we have to cut in mirror, meaning you need to turn your artwork around. So to do that, we've got a little mirror button. We click that, changes your artwork orientation. That way it's gonna to go to the cutter the right way and it looks correct when we press it onto the shirt. Cool. Right here, we've got some other sort of settings. You can see 200 mil. You could use this to change your artwork slightly, but I'd suggest doing everything in Illustrator to get your artwork right. Cool. Once you're ready, you click the plot button up the top. Plot again, and it goes across the cutter. Now on this cutter, this was already in remote mode, but if you're in local mode, meaning where you're setting up the cutter itself, and there's more videos on those, for this machine to start working, you just hit the remote button and get it into working mode. So guys, that's just finished cutting. Now, we're in remote mode. What we want to do is go back to local mode. Now, if I press forward, what I'm going to do is feed that vinyl out. Or I could actually just, if I wanted to, lift the wheels up by pulling it out. I put a sheet in there so it's easy for us, but if it was on a roll, we'd feed it forward, and then you just would cut it off with a pair of scissors, okay? Cool. Now bringing this across, so guys, we've just done one transfer here, obviously, so and it's cut out right here, so I'm just gonna grab the scissors and cut that out, just so it's a little bit easier for me to show you. Cool, so we just put that over there. Now, I'll weed this from the outside. I haven't used a weeding tool here, but some people use like little tool knives, pen knives. We've got them at Bellflex as well. Okay, so this is weeding. Now this is our PU. It's got a good adhesion on it for doing really detailed work as well. But you can also see how well it, it, it weeds. Just like that. That's the outside. And I'll weed it this way so you can see as well. Always helps if you've got some nails when weeding transfers. Here's a little pen knife, this is easy. I like just to slide it underneath the vinyl itself. It helps me lift it out. Okay, so that there is our Neon Pink Flex Classic. And as you noticed, we've cut it in mirror. So we're weeding from behind on the glue side. So when we flip it over, 
that's how we actually want to read the Flex Classic transfer. What we've got on top now is our application tape, which allows us to place it down. It holds all the letters in place, heat press it, and we peel this off, okay? So this is like a one-step process for doing heat transfers. Cut from behind on the glue side in mirror is the key. So we've got our garment here. We've placed it down on the heat press. I've got this heat press set at 150. It's sitting at about 148, 149 now. We place it right there in the middle of the actual garment to make sure it's straight. Okay, so that's our 10 seconds. Now I'm just gonna take it off to allow the, the actual vinyl to set, the glue, sorry. Okay, so let it cool down just a little bit. And then what we want to do is we just want to peel that vinyl off, okay? And there we are, we have our heat transfer. Now, I often like to give a transfer a second press. With a bit of cotton over the top so that you get a nice textured finish of that vinyl on the actual garment itself. Now, I've just folded the bottom of the shirt over. Often I'll have an extra piece of uh, fabric just by the side that I'll be able to place it down. And that's given us a great textured feel in the actual vinyl itself, pressed right into the shirt.